Hello, and welcome to another Keyshot 9 animation tutorial. In this video, we will talk about the different types of camera animations that can be created within Keyshot 9. An important distinction between part and camera animations is that camera animations need to be applied to one particular camera or view set. You can see a list of the cameras used in this scene under the scene tree. In the animation timeline, I can use the animation wizard to get a preview of the different types of camera animations. We can create several different animations including orbit, zoom, inclination, translation, camera switch events, and a number of other animations as well. First, I'll select orbit from my list of options, then hit next. The wizard then asks which camera to apply the animation to. We can select from the list of existing cameras or add a new camera. Let's go ahead and add a new camera and call it Animation Camera 1. The timeline will now be populated with a default orbit animation of 360 degrees over 5 seconds. We can also add in some motion easing here for a more natural camera movement. When I hit finish, you can see the animation sitting in my timeline. I can control the zoom of my animation timeline using the slider and get a preview of the animation by hitting the play button. By default the animation will loop. This can be disabled if desired. This is also a good time to use performance mode in order to see faster real-time results. Now under my scene tree you can see that the orbit animation has been applied to my animation camera 1. I can enable or disable this animation by toggling the checkbox associated with it. If I select a different camera as my active camera, you'll notice that the animation timeline no longer has an animation in it. In order to get the camera animation back, I have to have the animated camera selected as the active camera. I can then add another camera animation. This time, instead of using the animation wizard, I'll go ahead and select the camera tab in the project window. In Keyshot 9, I can easily choose and assign camera animations directly from the camera tree. Here, I can click the preferred camera, choose animation, and select zoom. This will add my new camera animation to the timeline below. Since this model was imported respecting the original units, the units and my animation settings will be set to millimeters. In this case, I'll increase the end focal length to 100 millimeters and add in some motion easing and then hit finish. Hitting play will give a preview of the two animations now applied to that camera. With the camera switch event, we can change cameras in our animation timeline. To do this, I'll go to the camera tab in my project window and select add new camera. I'll call this camera animation camera 2. Let's add another orbit. I'll select our new camera in the camera tree, right click, and add an orbit animation. Then I'll change the degrees to 50 so that we get a slower movement around our specified object. I'll have this animation start from the beginning so that we can transition from it to our first animation camera. I'll also add in some motion easing to smooth its movement. We can then preview the animation by hitting the play button or scrubbing through. Now let's add our camera switch event using the camera tree in the project tab. First, I'll select animation camera 2, right click and choose animation. I'll then select the camera switch event and choose the camera I would like to switch to. Notice a blue dot appears in the timeline. This is the camera switch event. I'll adjust the event by dragging the dot to my desired location. I can now scrub through or press play to preview the entire animation with all my camera movements and transitions. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 9 camera animation overview. Let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comments section below. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.